What's up, guys? I'm Crazy Act. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which is apparently the final. I'm not so sure that'll be true. But anyway, so, uh, this game relies on sound cues. Please adjust your phone to you hear crickets on the screen. Okay, I can hear them. My, vo my volume is literally maxed out right now. That's kind of frightening. I'll hold shift for several seconds to make sure you have sticky keys turned off. Yes. I have sticky keys turned off. I would never turn them on. Why would you turn those on? Do you guys use sticky keys? I've never found a reason to use sticky keys. If you're on a Mac and don't know what sticky keys are, no problem. Okay. Uh, this looks... I was going to say it looked pretty standard, but then I realized there was a house in the background. That's interesting. I kind of know a little bit about this game. All I know is it takes place in a house. And... I, it takes place in a house. That's kind of basically all I know. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm kind of excited for this. Five days until the party. What party? What party? Hi. Are you doing like a paunch? Are you trying to paunch me? What did he do this time? I don't know. He locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I'm here with you. Oh, so comforting. <laughs> oh, uh, this is interesting. Oh, so we're starting right into the mini game right away here. Don't look at me. I see your eyes following me, you little creep. Oh, so this is this is familiar. Just walk across my toys. Yeah, that's cool. These are my friends. I'm singing in a crying voice because apparently I'm crying. I don't really know why. I'm crying. Hi, Freddy and Chica and where's your, Foxy? Where's your head, Foxy? Foxy, why you have no head? All right, well, okay. I guess Foxy has no head, guys. Okay, uh, Mister, I I, I don't think I can interact with you. Am I supposed to go out or am I supposed to do anything else in here? I'm trying enter as well, just to see if I can interact with stuff. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to interact with stuff. Who's there? Answer yours. Uh, oh, no, that's... Never mind, that's me walking into a door. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm sad, guys. I'm, I'm sad. Tomorrow's another day. Yes, yes, it is. Hi, creepo. Night one, loading. Okay, time to get into the nitty gritty of things. I don't know anything about how this game is gonna play. I haven't seen any gameplay or anything. Uh, click, whoa, wait, what? Whoa, okay, hang on. Flick mouse downward to turn and look behind you. Close doors, hold shift, hold use, okay. Uh, okay, so that, oh my. So, wait, hang on. What, what did I do, what did I do? I just did something, okay, I went, Oh. Okay. Okay, so how do I go back? How do I go back? How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Just, just flick it. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so what am I supposed to do then? So I can, like, go over here and, like, check it out? Okay. Get out of here. All right. So, I want to go up in here and check what this is? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know if I, what I'm, like... I know the basic premise of Five Nights at Freddy's, of course, but this is completely different. This is not... I knew there was stuff like this, but I had no idea what to expect. And honestly, I was a little skeptical that that uh, this game would be interesting after, you know, the, the formula... What's oh, a grandfather clock? Never mind. After the formula kind of wore a little thin in the previous games, I was kind of worried this game would be a little repetitive or would stray too much from the style and be something completely different. But I think, at least so far, this is doing a pretty good job of keeping the original atmosphere. Even though I don't know anything, there's no phone guy or anything to tell me what the hell is going on here. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just running around checking doors. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? It's 1 a.m. I'm not dead yet. That's a cool thing, I guess. Okay, well. Uh-huh. I don't know, guys. I, nothing's happening yet. That's probably a good thing. I'm just going to go check all the doors until something. Now, the game said, at the very start, you guys saw it, that it relied on sound cues. I just had a sound cue. At least, it was a sound that changed. I don't know exactly what the sound cues will be, but it could be music. Okay, hang on. What if I... Oh, right. You exist. Are you going to go evil on me? I also don't know if I have a battery or not. I'm going to guess not, because it probably would have told me. So were there any other tips? Oh, I can't bring it back up. So probably not. Just closing the door and the lights, I guess. I don't know. Is something supposed to be happening right now? Did I break something already? I 
would be horrible if I broke something already. This game wasn't supposed to come out for like another several months, so if there was a bug in it, it wouldn't surprise me. But then again, Scott has been pretty good. Scott Cawthon, the creator of the game, has been pretty good about not releasing bug-ridden games. There's been a few small ones here and there, but really nothing that big of a deal. So is there anyone out there? Am I just alone by myself? A little child alone in the house? This is reminding me of both Night Blights and Among the Sleep. <laughs> But also, it reminds me, like, very much of Five Nights at Freddy's. Obviously, because that's what we're playing. But it very much reminds me of the atmosphere of Five Nights at Freddy's, of having to check the doors. Though this... What? Did I do that? I did that, didn't I? I did that, didn't I? By moving my mouse wrong. Getting used to the, the, the new patterns and such, but, uh... Where was I? I was talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. And how this is, like, just like it, except it takes time... I was gonna say, it takes time to get to the doors. So it's a little creepier. I can't just peek out into the doors any time. I have to actually expend time, which I'm guessing is going to be an important thing later on. Once we actually get into some nitty gritty and see some monsters, because I know they're out there. I was I was uh, watching the the progress of this game. Like he doesn't show much in the, in the progress. He shows like little teasers and whatnot, and that's why I had uh, I knew that it was in a house and whatnot. But it was supposed to come out on Halloween, and that's what showed in the teasers. But the teasers also showed basically animatronics. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay, what am I supposed to do about that? Is that a thing I should be concerned about? Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Hello? Hello? Okay. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna amp the music way up on the video. Usually you guys- Oh, jeez! I s- <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Crap! That is the best jump scare I have ever, ever gotten in my entire life! Holy shit! I need the bottom of my desk. That hurt. Ah. Okay. Well, that woke me up. Let's get right back into it here. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, can we skip this part? I, I know all this. I know all this now. I don't know if I was supposed to do something different. Like, obviously, obviously I was supposed to do something different, but I don't know whether, like, I was missing anything obvious. Like, were the bears, were those evil little bears a bad sign? Were, were those notifying me that something was coming? Because I got to the door and I was able to close it, and that's what I was about to do when I got jump scared to death. Um, but, uh, I don't really know what the exact mechanic of this is yet so I'm just gonna be checking the door the same as before and I'm not gonna stop talking to myself because holy crap kind of shit in my pants right now and we're just gonna wait until I can get to this whole night without <laughs> getting jump scared to death that was pretty bloody death by the way you don't really see the blood except for the spatter on the camera excuse me I heard that I heard that that was like a bell type sound to my right I heard that Okay, we're just gonna pretend that's nothing then. We're just gonna pretend and hope that that is nothing. So, the plan is, if I see that guy, hold the door closed. If I see that guy, just hold it closed and, and wait for like 30 seconds. Because <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get away from that. Hello. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I was so worried, like I said before, I was so worried this game would be like super repetitive and or would like be completely different one or the other and wouldn't be unique and creative. This is unique and creative and it's scaring my pants off. That's lovely, except that I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts, so that's a thing. It'd be scaring my shorts off. And it would knock my socks off if I was wearing those. I don't like socks. I don't wear socks. And now I'm just talking about random shit because I'm scared of being scared. That's a thing. Guys, I... I don't even know what to talk about right now. I am just, I am in full, like, real serious mode right now. Hi! Okay, you're gone again. That's nice. I also don't know if the flashlight lures him towards me. Like if I turn, oh, I hear you, I hear you. I don't know where I hear you though. That's the thing. I don't know guys. Okay, fuck off with that. Seriously. 
I am not in the mood for your shit, Mr. Evil Freddy Bear. Oh my god. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, okay. No. No, 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 no. <gasps> no, 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 no. No. When is it okay? When am I safe? When am I safe? Okay, and we're back, and I just caught a glimpse of the tips before I closed it, and you guys are probably thinking, Oh, wow, crazy, I get so fucking stupid. Well, yeah, because I can't read, apparently. In the center, I believe it said, if I caught it correctly, that if you hear banging, do not use the flashlight. Okay, so that's our plan. If we hear banging, we're just not going to use the flashlight at all for any reason. We're just going to close the door and just sit there, and then head back to the center of the room when we think it's safe. That's what we're gonna do. No flashlights, because that's what I did both times before. I just used the flashlight to check if the monsters were gone, which probably was a stupid, a stupid idea. And also, <clears throat> I realized something, because at the very start, it said, uh, the bear said something to the effect of, as long as I'm here, you're safe. So, I think what I have to do is use the flashlight to keep the little monsters off the bear, and then I'm safer. They can't come into my room. But I think if I lose the bear, I think if I lose the bear, excuse me. I think if I lose the bear, I think that's game over. I think, I'm just guessing here. I am taking wild guesses. Okay, so I just gotta keep listening for that audio because it, in the previous games, in the, First three Five Nights at Freddy's, sound was kind of a thing. You had to, you know, hear your vents here and there and whatnot. But it wasn't so much a cue as it was a reminder. A cue kind of tells you what you have to do, whereas a reminder reminds you to check things. So when you hear your vent thumping, it wasn't always that you had to do something, but checking your vents was a good idea. So I'm thinking that that's changed now. And now it's a cue that you have to do a specific thing when you hear a specific sound. I guess we'll see how well that works out. But I haven't heard any thumping yet, so we're, we're good so far. I don't even know why I'm checking these doors. Literally, nothing has shown up before 4 a.m. So, just checking now and then. Really, I think all I have to do right now is check this guy. Make sure he's okay, because I gotta keep my, my teddy bear safe. I used to have a teddy bear that I slept with for a long time, and he kept me safe. Guess what his name was? I want you all to guess. The the, the dumbest name possible. It's, it's a pretty dumb name. Guess the dumbest name possible for a stuffed teddy bear. Guess right now. Get in your mind. Picture it in your mind. Okay. The name was Bear. I named him Bear. I mean, I was one when I got him. It's not like I had a huge vocabulary of how to name my... my... I didn't do that. I'm going to just flick my mouse wrong. But anyway, I named him Bear. I was one year old when I got the, the bear, and I named him Bear. So that's the thing I did. So what's the names you guys come up with? Comment with the names you thought my name my teddy bear down below and see. Okay, we're good. Okay. And yeah, let me know if you uh, came up with anything as stupid as bear. <laughs> because wow. <laughs> You're still okay, right bear? You're still good? Okay. There's a dog. There's a dog. Okay. See, I, I heard radio static there. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So clearly, I have to check my doors more. All right. I'm gonna give it one more go. I have like tinglys all over now. Oh, that's good. Okay. One more go. If I hit continue, maybe I won't get the whole pre-log thing. Prologue thing. No, let's try that. There we go. Okay, that's that saves me a little bit of trouble. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more time. We'll see how far we get. If I can't beat night one, well, you guys can leave me suggestions in the comments below. Okay, so let's see. Click here to run to the door. Let's see what the messages say this time. Let's actually read them. Listen carefully. If you hear breathing, hold the door shut. If you do not hear breathing, then use your flashlight. Flick mouse down. Okay. If you don't hear breathing. Click here to run to the door. See what this one has to say. Same thing. 
I'm getting all the tips this time because I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, same thing. Okay, so I got to go to the doors and listen. I got gotcha, you, so I don't use the flashlight. Got gotcha, you. Okay. And then I got to check on this guy. Okay, close that. Okay, I got it. So this time I'm going to check the doors without using the flashlight. I got gotcha. you. Okay. This is what crazy I gets for not reading. I, I, I heard something. It wasn't breathing, but I heard something. Okay. So go, listen. No breathing. Light is okay. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to actually have to stop talking when I do these parts because I have to make sure there's no, not actual breathing. And check with the flashlight and go. Okay. So this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay. So we're going to zoom ahead a little bit here when I struggle through stuff, but uh, I think I might have a strategy. And that might avoid whatever the hell that pink thing was that got me last time. As long as I'm checking for breathing, I can probably stop him from getting me. I guess we'll see if that works. Okay. This just sprung to mind out of nowhere. I, 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 have to, I feel like I have to share this. Why can I hear them breathing? That's a very disturbing fact. Right there, that's a very disturbing fact because that means there's something alive inside of them. Or they use respirators to find me or something. There has to be something creating the breathing sound. Are these supposed to be suits and not animatronics? Are there people hunting me? Or is this like there are souls trapped inside them and I can hear the breathing sounds of the souls? That would be... I heard that. I heard that. That was definitely radio sounds. Definitely radio sounds. Okay. Let's check my bear. No, get out of here. Get out of here. They don't like flashing lights. Okay, go back. Check the bear. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man. Okay, good, 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 good. I keep mistaking that for breathing. I seriously keep mistaking that for breathing. Mostly because I don't know what the breathing sounds like yet. And sorry if I'm just like, I pause and then talk for a bit and then pause and talk for a bit. It's because I have to hear the breathing. I don't even know what the breathing sounds like yet, so. Okay. Check on the bear. Get out of here! You goddamn douche. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Check the closet. Closet. Okay. Okay, we're good. And one more. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting the hang of this, I think. Maybe. Okay, good, good, good. Alrighty. I like where this is going, guys. I like where this is going. It's 5 a.m. We're doing okay. Okay, go back. I gotta check my bear. Gotta check my bear. Get out of here. Get out of here. I know there's... Okay, so it looks like there's more than one of them. Probably if I let like two or three in, then they'll then they'll take over. Okay, good. Closet. Oh man. This is some intense as shit stuff, man. I'm loving this. Okay, we're good. We're good. Get out of here! Yes! We did it! That last try was totally worth it, guys. Also, I don't think that's how a clock works. It doesn't cycle through like 70 billion hours before it gets to six. <sighs> Good. Mommy and Daddy will be waking up and saving me from the monsters now. Ooh. Okay, let's, let's, let's start night two. I probably won't get very far, but let's give it a try. Actually, you know what? I'm... You know he's hiding again. I'm going to wait and do this for the next episode, which I'm going to record right now. So don't you guys worry. It'll be coming out soon enough. But I'm going to record this in the next one because I've already been recording for 26 minutes. So anyway, that's all for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out some more videos over there by clicking on them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Get out of here. Thank you. No, oh, fuck. Oh, God, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Hi, uh, I'm gonna have to feed you a Furby, aren't I? There you go.